Four victims are coming forward to say that a town of Black Wolf woman sold them fake shares of Facebook stock. Marianne Olson is heading to trial following a hearing today in Winnebago County Court. Police say at least six people say that Olson sold them the fake stock, and there could be even more victims. Fox 11's Chad Dorn has more from Oshkosh. A visibly emotional Marianne Olson sat in a Winnebago County courtroom today. The sight, a far cry from the woman alleged victims say, was a hard driving saleswoman. I don't feel duped at all because she was really, really good. Court records indicate Olson used her charm to scam at least five people out of thousands of dollars each, selling them fake shares of Facebook stock. Jerry Heisey isn't listed in the criminal complaint, but says he too was scammed by Olson to the tune of more than $20,000. Just a shame that. I guess trust in humanity. This lady was really, really good. Played on emotions and just can't believe somebody was that cold. Sometimes the stock was given in exchange for services or gifts. Randy Stafford was doing remodeling work on Olson's home in the town of Black Wolf when she allegedly told him she could not pay the $18,000 she owed. Stafford says Olson then offered Facebook stock as a form of payment. But I was still believing she has to have something. This woman is. Got so much information, and she's backing up with all this information. Stafford says he invested another ten thousand dollars of his own money. Others also gave thousands in a deal they thought was too good to pass up. She had brand new cars, nice clothes, seven thousand dollar jacket, eighty thousand dollar diamond ring. There was no reason not to believe the stories. In court today, prosecutors revealed at least two more victims have come forward. Investigators believe there are still more out there. Meanwhile, Olson's alleged victims are left to wonder when or if they will ever get their money back. Just sick to my stomach, you know. Um, I believe this woman. I trusted in somebody. Olson is still behind bars on a $50,000 cash bond and will be back in court to enter a plea on the charges later this month. In Oshkosh, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News.